Hey guys, for this let you know about a new feature that Google now have included in the dev build and the dev latest dev build right now seems to be the 12.0.742.9 and yeah, basically it's Google Chrome 12, the dev build, the latest one that I'm having right now and this new feature is kinda cool if you hate Flash, if you didn't know already what Google basically did with the, their Google Chrome browser is that they bundle Adobe Flash with the web browser and do something that they did a very like a long time ago it, it's something that many people hate maybe because I mean they don't like Adobe Flash and then uh, Google come here and marry Google Chrome with Flash and you know bundle it together they didn't do as with uh, like every other single browser out there they have like a standalone plugin for Adobe Flash it didn't bundle it together as Google Chrome or Google did yeah but Something that some people hate, but they've now added a new cool feature. I'm going to talk a little bit about that pretty soon. I'm just going to say that obviously Google still are maintaining Adobe Flash. I mean, they're giving like security patches and updated regularly all the time. So that's something that's very good. I mean, so that's sweet. But this new feature that other browsers doesn't have and something that's very good now because they bundle Adobe Flash, then they could do this, and that is that you could now clear up after flash yeah I know I love it you can now clear up cookies and other site and plugin data from like plugins like flash and you know this doesn't just work on the Adobe flash plugin but it works with other plugins also that use this NPA P N P A P I clear site data API. Every plugin is using that and in Google Chrome. Adobe is obviously using it in the latest Flash 10.3. You, you could now clear up cookies after those plugins. And this is something that you could obviously do with the standalone Flash plugin as well in other web browsers, but it's it's harder, or it's not harder, but you have to visit Adobe's website and then you want to clear something called Flash local shared objects. Now, why should you clear cookies? Well, obviously, it's good. You, you know, it's like your room. I mean, you want to you want to you want to keep your room clean, okay? And I mean, how many people that use like let's say Firefox, how many go to Adobe's website to clear Flash cookies? I mean, no one do that. And this is something that I, I suppose is, is pretty good to do. So if you want to do this, then as I said, you need to have the Google Chrome 12 Dev Build, and this is something that they are probably going to launch to the Beta Build and Stable Build pretty soon as well. But how you find it is you go down here to your menu, you go down to tools, and then you go to, hmm, where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? That's, that's a very good question. Okay, first you go to tools, and then you go to this alternative here called clear browsing data. And when you click on it, you will see this new one here. If you want to click, if you click it, then you will basically delete Adobe Flash cookie mess. It's fun, it's awesome, it's sweet. If you want to do this every time you, let's say, you restart your web browser or something like that, you always want to keep um, the cookies, you always want to remove them, then you just click here, and then you could, you know, click here on the cookies, you know, delete cookies and other plugin data every time you restart your browser. So, that's kind of cool. Something that Firefox user doesn't have, they need to go and visit, visit that crappy Adobe website. So it's sweet to be a Google Chrome user and fanboy and everything. So sweet. See. You.